Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So this video is a step-by-step process on how to use instantly.ai to send more than 100,000 emails every month. So I have been using instantly.ai from last 18 months and I have sent over a million emails using it, right? So if you are someone who relies on cold emails to get clients for your services or business, this tool is game changer for you. When I first started using it, it totally changed how I did cold emails and I have, you know, 10 x my results since then, right? So in this video, you will learn from my experience of sending a million emails from instantly.ai, how I connect the accounts, how, how I set up campaigns, how I manage replies and how I use all its features to get the best deliverability. So even if you are someone who have never used any sales enablement tool, this video will teach you from end to end how to go from not being knowing to any tools to be a pro at using instantly.ai and just start sending even 50,000 emails from next month, right? So let's jump over to my screen and I'll show you how it works. So this is how the landing page of instantly.ai looks like. So if you don't already have an account, you can just click on start for free and fill out all the details related to your accounts right and just log in into it so let me just log into my account and i'll show you how it looks so now i have logged into instantly.ai right so these are all the options you have so first option is a lead finder they also now have a database as well which isn't really that good as apollo so i don't really use it i this is the place where you connect all the email accounts you want to use for your campaigns this is the area where you want to build out the campaigns you will be sending out, right? And here is the analytics part where you can see all the emails being sent out. What is the open rate you are getting? What is the click rate you are getting and reply rate? And you can also track the opportunities or the meetings you have booked through your camp. Then there is Unibox which shows all the replies from all the campaigns in one place. And you can manage everything from here. You can set up the reminders for follow-ups and you know keep track of all the leads that have replied to you and mark them as interested or you know categorize the leads as well right so let's start with connecting the email account so if you click here there are multiple ways you can connect email accounts right so for every email service provider there are majorly two email service provider people use which is google and outlook even if you want to connect it through smtp it's pretty easy you can either bulk import your csv or connect single provider by adding all the information about it right now let's say you want to connect a g suite account right so first of all you have to follow all these steps that have been suggested by instantly then after you have enabled the imap you have to choose one of these two options so i always use the first option because it has much better security or let's say it's more stable and it gets let's disconnect right so previously i was using app password which would again require two-factor authorization and if you are setting up hundreds of accounts you would need hundreds of mobile numbers as well so a mobile number can do like five to ten email accounts per day so that's not something i suggest it creates issues in the long term right so always go with the first step if you can right just click on this and it will show you all the steps you need to follow you would be required to go to google workspace admin panel and add this as an client id and authorize instantly to use your email account so to show you how to do authorization as well you have to go to google workspace admin panel and then you have to click on add app and click the first option then you have to copy this and you have to search for this id and select this and again select and continue and keep it trusted and finish so it will be done basically right everything is basically done here and now you just have to click login and login into that account and that will account will be easily connected so now let me show you how to set up the warm-up as well before jumping on to building the campaign right so if you want to warm up this email for 14 days what i will do is click on this email account then go to settings and you have to check everything if it's correct here right so here you can set up 
how many emails or cold emails you want this account to send every day so i usually keep it to 20 emails per day and i keep the gap of like 15 minutes between each cold email right you can set up a custom tracking domain by following this you have to just go to your domain provider and set up this dns record and you know verify this and your custom tracking domain will be set up and you have to do it only if you want to track open rates but it's still beneficial if you are sending warm-up emails right so now let's come on to how to do the warm-up settings so when i am using a new account i will just do it like i'll increase it by four per day and it's limited to like 40 emails per day right and reply rate i would keep it to 40 and i'll enable this right now i have bought instantly on a different account i am just using it, this account to show you the tutorial so if you will subscribe to this instantly.ai then you have to enable everything right enable the weekday only right enable read emulation enable warm custom tracking domain and other settings as well there will be three more settings first would be open rate that i would keep to 80 85 then second would be spam production that i would keep to 100 percent third would be mark as important and that i would keep at 65 or 70 percent right so this is how you have to do all the warm setting for all the email accounts you do right and you make sure you click enable as well right and just continue and now this account is on warm right so let's move on to the campaign builder so whenever you are starting a new campaign i'll just click add new campaign and i'll name that campaign right then i'll just click continue so now it's time to upload the leads to instantly.ai so for that you need a google sheet or a csv file which in which you have all the data so you can have any number of elements you want to use in your emails either personalized first line product names case studies client names whatever you want so right so here we are targeting pr companies in us and i have all the information like their first name last name their title their email address their company name city and state and the clients they have worked with right so to upload this into instantly you have to download it as csv so after you download it you have to go to instantly.ai and click import and now there are multiple options to upload the leads as well you can use google sheets you can connect a particular google sheet and keep adding leads there right and whenever you add leads there instantly will automatically pull them into the campaign right so for this we will be using upload csv feature this is how you select it now you have to map all the columns so this is what we had in our sheet and this is what will instantly take it as an input right so first name will be matched to first name last name to last name i don't really want to import the titles so i will just ignore it so if you don't want to imp import any element you can do that as well for email make sure you are matching emails and company names correctly i don't really need personal linkedin urls and company linkedin urls in instantly.ai i'll just add a website for the reference i'll use city and state variables so if you have some custom variables you can just use the custom variable element and you can use this as an element in the script and instantly will replace this for, for these parameters right so for clients as well i will create a custom variable or you can just add it as a personalization point so if you have already running campaigns for your client or yourself you would want to click check for duplicate across all the campaigns because you don't want to duplicate your efforts and reach out to clients multiple times in in a span of like few weeks so that's not really a good practice so to the, do that i'll just check for duplicate across all the campaigns and then i just click upload right and it will start matching all these leads to different campaigns and the block list you can set in instantly.ai which i will be showing you how to do as well so now after that let's jump over to how to set up the script into the campaign builder as well so this is how the campaign builder looks like here you can add any number of steps you want to send any number of variations or a b testing you want to do right so this is the first email so here is the script that i would be sending to this campaign right 
so what i will do is i will copy this first subject line and paste it here right then i will copy this script and i'll press ctrl shift and v so it will take the formatting of instantly and not the google sheet so if i just let's say do ctrl plus v it's taking the formatting of google sheet and i don't want to do that right so to word that i'll just do that and i will add everything or i will just do the correct formatting for this so now you can add all of your script here which you can see how it looks like after all the elements are being replaced by instantly.ai right so you see i have now added the script of for the just first email right so now i want to check whether instantly is picking up the elements correctly or not or all these elements are being replaced correctly or not right so for that i'll click preview email right so you see it is the first name so you see instantly have now replaced all the elements i have provided it right so the client name the first name and the state name right so let's say you want to a b test the first email to see which subject line works better so let's say i want to test this subject line as well right so i'll just click add variant and paste the second subject line there and keep the copy same right so this way you can add as many variant as you can because right now i can do that because i don't really have that plan here but i do that have on my other account then you click on add step then you can schedule your follow-ups after however many days you want to right i usually do it after four days so now i will add the first follow-up to this so i will just copy that and again Control shift plus v second email is also being set up then again i'll preview this email to see all the elements are being replaced correctly or not then i will set up another follow-up for this now i have pasted the another follow-up so now you see here this is what spin text look like so if you want to improve deliverability in instantly you would want to use spin text as much as you can right so spin text is basically different version of a word which the software can rotate to send different emails every time so let me show you if you click preview it's hey lucy then if i keep clicking it will show me hi lucy then it will be greetings greetings lucy so you see how it rotates the e word which will be used in these emails so this helps in creating a variations or multiple variations of our emails so you would want to use as many relevant spin text words as much as you can in your emails and this is the format you have to use right so let's say you want to use spin text for this word right so now you the format you would be using is so this is the format you would be using right so now sometimes it will be thought to share some recent wins and other times it would be i want to share so let me show you that as well so right now it's thought to share right so now it's i want to share right so i hope that's that's pretty easy to understand as well so let me add just the last email to this now all of the emails or email steps have been set up so before moving on to schedule what i want you to do is clean the html right we don't want to be sending any html code right also don't use any bold letters in, in emails don't use anything italic it's not professional and you can also use all these features to add let's say variables right so let's say you want to add first name here you can just click insert variables and you can select any variables you want to insert then there is the option for templates as well there are some templates instantly provides you and you can create your own templates to use to build campaigns pretty quickly as well right you select this and click use template and instantly will auto fill all the campaign for you that that makes the job pretty easier right so having templates is a huge time saver as well and after that you can insert any links you want so even if you want to link your website let's say i want to link my website as scoutreach.co and the link for that is scoutreach.www.scoutreach.co insert link now this 
will be sent with my emails as well but i recommend not sending any links with your emails so i'm just showing you if you want to do it how to do it right so i will i have just removed it and i'll clean all the html now coming on to there are two more things as well in campaign builder which is inserting us unsubscribe link so if you just click this and this will be sent with your emails right if someone receives your email and they want to unsubscribe they can just click on this link and they won't be reached out again right so this makes your job a lot easier and this helps you in being gdpr compliant as well right so now let's say you want to add a gif right so for that you will be clicking on insert image and now you have to get an url of that gif so for that we will be going on to giphy.com so let's say we want to add this gif in our email so then i will click share and just copy this gif link then i'll go back to my sequence builder and just go wherever i want to add this meme or whatever you want to do then you will click insert image and paste this link and click insert then you can you know now this is added pretty you know easy to do it now it's not formatted clearly right so to do that i will just align it to here and you can resize as much as you want then you can click preview email to see how it looks like and then you have to again keep clicking save when you do something relevant clean the HTMLs again right so that's pretty much it about building the campaigns setting up the script now let's move on to the schedule but let's say I'm reaching out to companies in New York, right? Now they have an Eastern Standard Time Zone. So now you can set up the time between which you want to send your campaign. So I usually do, let's say 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., right? And the time zone is selected correctly. And then you select all the days you want to do and just click. Right now, your emails will be just sent during these days you can also select the date of starting your campaigns let's say today is 22 july and i want to start my campaign on friday 28th july i can select that and i can end my campaign whenever i want so you can select all these options as well which makes it a lot easier if you want to schedule campaigns you know prior to the dates you have finalized now let's move on to last part of building the campaign so let's say you have 50 email accounts connected in instantly.ai to send emails you can select all those accounts in this campaign so it will rotate the domains or inboxes it uses to send your emails which will have much better deliverability because you are not sending a similar email from each inbox and you are not doing a lot of volume so if i had to send 200 emails per day i won't be doing that from one email inbox i will be selecting at least 15 email inboxes so my volume is spread enough on all all these inboxes and i can get good deliverability right so coming on to the second option now you would also always want to stop sending emails on reply again don't stop them on auto reply because because usually people are out of office few days in a month but you still want to keep reaching out to them to you know get them to read your email when they are back in the office now about tracking so i don't track open rates and click rates but if you want to do you can click or enable them right so it's pretty easy from here now i always click or enable this because i want to send my emails in text only no html because it gets much better deliverability as simple as that now you can set up how many max number of leads to send per day for this campaign right so again depending on the how many email accounts we have so let's say i have 10 email accounts i'll just keep it to 200 emails per day because i usually like to like to do like 15 to 20 emails per day right now coming on to sending pattern now you can gap your emails from each account so the minimum time should be seven and the random additional time could be 10 that's what i like to do so now you can also select the max number of leads being reached out to from this campaign so now you would ask what is the difference between the daily limit and max number of leads right so obviously there will be follow-ups for your emails as well and you keep your campaign daily limit to 200 emails but your max new leads 200 emails a day right so instantly we use that 100 rest of the emails to send follow-ups to your lead. now coming on to this option this option is pretty good as well 
what it does is it matches your email sending provider to your prospects email sending provider so let's say you you are sending emails from outlook so if you have a, a list of 200 leads and you have 150 emails outlook emails it will only send or it will only use your outlook inboxes to send emails to them and it's vice versa as well if you have g suite accounts and your prospects let's say 50 prospects have g suite account it will use your those g suite accounts to send emails to those g suite so that's why i do a split of email inboxes i have 10 email inbox from google and 10 from outlook and it gets me good deliverability i have even lesser risk right now you want to so this option really depends on your what you are selling so if you are selling something which is very individualistic right so it matters to each role then i would not stop the campaign on reply from the company right but if it's being sold to as a company as a whole and if you have already got and reply then i will just click enable company reply stop because i don't want to reach out to other people in that company if i have already got a not interested reply from that company right so i'll enable it and i'll and after doing all this you will click save the campaign and launch this now here you can track all the analytics for your campaigns from for any number of date you can share your results through instantly of your campaigns right let me show you some of my campaigns as well right this is just in trial account so here is one of my campaign so this has been running from last two three months let's say yeah i started this on first june and it's already mid july so this has been a pretty good campaign for us so you can see i have added like 3500 leads here i have a whole sequence setup here where i do multiple testing and sequences right then i select a schedule right then i select all the email accounts i have then i have all these option ticked in right and there is one another option which is subsequences i don't really use it because i have a different tool to manage my replies but if you want to this it's a pretty time saver as well right so in this what you do is you create four or five subsequences for your prospects right so when you are starting your cold email campaign you will be receiving multiple categories of reply so to name a few first some would be interested to book a call right so you would be sending a different subsequence to all them some would require more information you would send a different subsequence to them someone would want you to refer to someone else in their company you will have a different subsequence for them right if you want to create more subsequence on multiple scenarios you can do that as well but these are the usual scenarios you want to create subsequence on so let's say a lead replies and they are interested then and you have marked them as interested then instantly will automatically push them into a subsequence and start sending that sequence and re-engage them or provide more information on or try to book them into a call just automatically you don't have to manually reply to them so this is pretty good as well so now coming to analytics you can see what are the analytics how how you want to make the decision how this campaign did so when i started this campaign this step received the best reply so i in between the campaign stopped these two steps and just scaled with this and we got pretty good replies with this right so we have already tested multiple for this so we have already good follow-up process then after this th this is unibox you can manage all your replies here if someone is interested you can straight away reply to them from here right and if they are not interested you can select all the categorization you want to do for your campaigns you can again after you have segmented the list you can see all those leads in these categories like meeting booked you know if you have closed the deals if you want to see out of office replies because again you can push them into a subsequence after a particular you know time frame to re-engage these leads if you don't want to miss, miss out on any leads right again you can re do reply management based on the campaign as well so there are all the campaigns you want to see replies for you can do that for a particular inbox as well right so this gives you multiple options this makes the job so much easier i cannot even tell you right you can also use their crm as well which is newly introduced so this is pretty good as well if you want to keep track of leads 
you know and yeah once your campaigns are set up you launch the campaigns instantly take care of everything it starts sending the emails it's you know it starts sending the follow ups and you just have to take care of the replies from unipa let's say you your this campaign worked pretty good right so if you want to cut your campaign building time you just duplicate this campaign and just make any necessary adjustment you want to to just start the next campaign pretty quickly right so that's how you use instantly to schedule all your emails all your follow ups and keep your outreach on autopilot which i have been doing for more than 2 years right so why wait go to instantly.ai and disclaimer this video is not sponsored i love using instantly.ai i had their uh, lifetime deal as well they have been a life saver for me so they deserve this right so if you want to automate your outreach or are using any other tool other than instantly.ai like outreach sales loft lamb list mail shake you know woodpecker stop using them whoever is charging you on per inbox they are scamming you just straight away start using instantly.ai and you will be in a much better position in your sales automation journey So that's all for this video guys I hope you understand how to use instantly.ai from connecting accounts setting up the email campaigns managing the replies and checking out the analytics Let me know if you have any questions about instantly.ai or anything about cold outreach I would be more than happy to answer your questions and I'll see you in the next one cheers